What you guys got another video here for you. If you're suffering from poor Wi-Fi around your home and you want to boost your Wi-Fi signal and strength around your home and get better Wi-Fi connection for all your devices, then this video is for you. You can see here I'm getting pretty poor Wi-Fi connection speeds here around my home. And I'm going to show you a quick way of how to get better Wi-Fi with this Netgear Orbi Wi-Fi 6. Now this particular kit comes with one router and two satellites, which means it should give me good coverage in my home. Now this one is the Netgear Wi-Fi Orbi RBK853 AX6000 Wi-Fi 6 home uh, mesh system. Now this is going to give you really good high-end Wi-Fi connectivity all around your home and on the perimeter of your home as well. As you can see the uh, tech specs here. Now the processor on these routers and uh, satellites is the quad core 2.2 gigahertz with one gigabyte of ram and also the software features are run by the mobile app which is the orbi mobile app it's super easy to set up i'll show you what that looks like a little bit later on in the video now if you've got a very large home you may need to have more satellites added and you can buy different kits on here this is a wi-fi tri-band system and you can see depending on how much wi-fi coverage you need will determine how many satellites you need to buy. And you can buy the router with uh, four satellites, five satellites, and so on, depending on how many satellites you need to get full Wi-Fi uh, coverage around your home. So this is exactly what you're going to get in the two satellites and one router kit. You're going to get your user manual and your setup guide here. You're going to get your Ethernet cable, just one of these, and you're going to get the free power adapters here. These are interchangeable with the two-pin ones here as well. You also get uh, the router and two satellites here for this kit and we have the instruction guide which is very simple and easy to set up even if you're not some sort of network guru you don't need to be uh, one of those to set this unit up it's super easy to set up so these are the three uh, devices we got here you can see they've got this sort of aluminium look to them but they are plastic they are made of plastic you've got some ventilation around here as well uh, on both sides of these little white panels here they are a bit top heavy. They are quite high and tall um, for the for actual uh, Wi-Fi mesh systems. Now these do support MU dash MIMO, and also it does have eight antennas in each of these uh, satellites, which is very good for getting good signal around your home. The memory on the router has 512 megabytes of NAND flash and one gigabyte of RAM. They also have four one gigabit Ethernet ports, as a reset button a sync button and a power input on there as well. On the router itself, we can take a look at the back here. We do have one 2.5 gigabit ethernet port on the back here and also four one gigabit ethernet ports. We have a reset switch and also a power input and a sync button on the back here. No uh, USB ports on these devices, which are a bit disappointing. Now to set these up, you need to download the app from the uh, Google App Store. It's very easy to do. You just download the app, install it, and go through the on-screen prompts. You need to plug this into your additional router, which you have, which is from your ISP, and you should be able to set it up. You have all of these features on the actual app itself, which you can tap into. You can do a lot of things inside here. This is the actual uh, router menu system. Now, having a look at our Wi-Fi connectivity here around my home, this is with the Virgin Media ISP router that comes with your ISP you can see the link speed is 86 Mbps and also we do have the milliseconds up above which is 182 uh, seconds as you can see here it's just going up and down now also looking down at the furthest part of my home you can see it's still 86 Mbps and also we have in 369 or 371 uh, milliseconds there you can see the average connectivity here is not that great now if you're trying to stream a movie or trying to do something like that in your home you're not going to be able to do it but with this mesh system here you can set these up all around your home and you'll have a really good wi-fi connection so let's take a look now we've got the wi-fi connection in the same position here and you can see 866 mbps on this connection here which we was getting really poor 86 mbps here before and obviously the milliseconds is 47 seconds which is very very low so you can see this unit has actually improved my wi-fi around my home 
And with these all synced together, you should get really good Wi-Fi connectivity for all your devices in your home. Now, this is the furthest point in my house, and you can see uh, it's dropped off. And I think I wasn't connected to the closest one here, but I still got 650 Mbps, and the milliseconds was 98, as you can see here. Now, I'm pretty sure that if I connected to the closest one here, I would have probably got even a better connection. But it just goes to show you how important a mesh wi-fi system is in your home especially if you have loads of devices you can connect up to 100 devices on this uh, wi-fi mesh system and people probably don't realize how much wi-fi connectivity they have in their home because they have mobile phones tablets your tv everything has a wi-fi connectivity even wi-fi security cameras doorbells all sorts of stuff like that and they can take up a lot of wi-fi connectivity and if you haven't got a good Wi-Fi system in your home, it just means that you're not going to be able to connect to those items very well. So if you've got dead spots in your home or you're struggling to get good connectivity around your home, then a Wi-Fi mesh system is the way to go. And Netgear Orbi is a pretty decent Wi-Fi mesh system, one of the best that I've tested so far. Anyway, with that said, I hope you enjoyed this video. If it's informative, then the links will be in the video description if you're interested. My name has been Brian from brightechcomputers.co.uk. Thanks again for watching. Have a lovely day. Bye for now.